Weak woman? Yeah. I'm like, we're on. <laughs> we're on. It is gorgeous outside, and it feels yes. amazing. Sure look good uh, down at the Embarcadero just there in our bump <laughs> shot, too. So. And we are joined by four-time San Diego Music Award winner Whitney Shea and Fabulous Company. Thank you all for showing up this morning. How's it going, Whitney? It's great. It's going. We're back to work, so we're so excited to be back to live music. So. All right, you have a performance coming up at the Music Box? Tomorrow night at the Music Box. Yeah, we're going to be there celebrating my album release. So we've had to reschedule this three times because oh. of COVID, but we're finally doing it. So. We're back. We're back. Okay, I think Paul's going to do introductions. Wait, should I quickly, sure. do it? Yeah. quickly meet the band? Yes. On keyboards is... I'm Jody Bagley. Dr dragging this thing around is not an easy thing, huh? <laughs> uh, no, it takes uh, takes a little bit of effort, but uh, sounds great. It's fun to bring it. All right, how old is it? Uh, this is from 1956. Wow, wow, wow. On skins we have? A majors. And how long have you been with the band? Uh, quite some time now. A yeah. couple yeah. years now. <laughs> In the music business, two years is quite some time, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we don't count Absolutely. this year. This last year doesn't count. Okay. Right. And on the five-string bass is? Jody Hill. And Jody, how long have you been with the band? Uh, ten years I've been playing with Whitney. Wow. Yeah, I'm a veteran. All right. I've, I've got a 401k now, so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ma matching contribution? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right. And on a keyboard, we have, or excuse me, on six-string guitar? Uh, Laura Travis. All right. And how long have you been with the band? Uh, off and on, what, a couple years. All right, so I'm going to send it back to Lauren. And why don't you finish up with Whitney? So tell us about the, the new album. So the new album, actually, you know, the pandemic was kind of crazy for the industry, but some good things happened. Um, it reached number one on the Billboard Blues charts in April. Congratulations thank to you. everyone. Thank you, thank you. And it's my first album of original music, so we're going to play some original songs for you and celebrate it tomorrow night um, with the Sleepwalkers, who are a great, like, cumbia, like, rockabilly band. So it's going to be a whole night of, like, soulful music, dancing, like, celebrating life great times fantastic i just have to point this out because this yes. could not be cuter wow yes my little wow. gramophone <laughs> i love gramophones <laughs> my my uh the head of my record label said oh is that your grammy that you're there gonna you get go. in the future i said oh sure yeah we'll absolutely <laughs> i mean you have it you are four time san diego music award yeah. winner and this so. album's actually up for album of the year this year too and when, best blues album that takes place in august right it does august 24th yeah okay so people can still go vote they can't vote anymore but they can okay. come to the ceremony there so. you go and that's at the house of blues right? it's at humphreys this year Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. I love Humphreys. That's going to be really fun. All right, so what are you going to play for us now? We're going to play a song that I wrote that actually is a duet, and so Jody is going to sing this one with me. It's called Far Apart, Still Close. Oh, I like it. All right. All right. Take it away.
and the gang out here. And uh, we're, of course, promoting that you're at the Music Box yes, tomorrow. Yes, the Music Box tomorrow night, releasing the album, finally, after a year. So, And people can just... Go to the, yeah, they, they can buy them at the door. They can buy them online. You Perfect. save five bucks if you buy them today instead of waiting till tomorrow. So I'm saving you five bucks. I'm doing you a favor. So yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a big party and we're going to have so much fun and people are going to be dancing. So what could be better? How would you describe the new album? I would say it's an album of empowerment music. So okay. I like to write songs about female empowerment, but just empowerment in general. And it's, it's a soulful celebration of life it's some blues some soul some funk yeah <laughs> all right i know paul's dying to, I, to talk I, to I laura know you don't want to, but come on I, I can't help i'm enamored by the guitar how when did you first take possession of it uh, about 22 years ago wow. and it's so it's seen thousands or hundreds of thousands or hundreds of shows right thousands thousands <laughs> and, and just quickly have does most uh, guitars have a name for their acts does your act have a name no it, it doesn't I've, I've actually never named the guitar I, I know I, I'm not that creative to come up with something cool. But you I have mean, an idea? No, uh, uh, Iron Horse. Iron, <laughs> I, I, Iron Horse, just because it stands the test of time. All right, uh, what are we going to hear? We're going to hear an original song called Someone You've Never Got to Know. All right, ride us into the end of the show. Have a great day, everyone. I wrote you a letter, but I never saw Probably wouldn't have read it anyway Just out of reach, oh yeah This person that I couldn't touch With the hope that we'd be in the middle one day What might you think that what I have ain't enough What does that say that you left when it all got to tell Now it's too late, we're we'll past the time for the friends but it don't Why you blaming me when you're